Hi, thank you for Hello? coming to uh, our office's moot court today. Uh, it's very nice to see you, and I'm very excited to discuss about this Pacific Legal Services, particularly in litigation and compliance practices. I have handled uh, uh, lots of litigation and compliance matters on, uh, related to cross-border cases. Uh, to accomplish our work, it's essential to have a good relationship with a uh, e-discovery vendor like AOS. Nice to see you too. Um, so I'm happy to discuss the subject. Mm -hmm. And since there is no e-discovery e law in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, most of the Japanese companies um, have no idea mm -hmm. once uh, e-discovery happens. And um, the, the key thing is to select the vendor. Uh, to assist the e-discovery here in Japan and um, the key thing is the, the company uh, like us who understand the US e-discovery and the Japanese IT uh, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So also I'm interested in knowing about uh, TMI and yourself mm -hmm. and uh, new uh, consulting um, mm -hmm. venture uh, you initiated. Sounds good. Uh, from an attorney's perspective it is a key key to select a, a trusted vendor since this this will directly affect our work. Mm -hmm. uh, if something goes wrong during the process, we may lose the case. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I, I like to uh, I think not so many people in the U.S. knows about legal tech or AOS. So, would you tell us about uh, what AOS does? Sure, um, we are a legal service provider and um, headquarters uh, in, in uh, Tokyo, Japan. We provide a variety of services from forensics mm -hmm. to data collection, um, uh, data uh, um, uploading to the e-discovery uh, tool, as well as document review. And pretty much we cover entirely um, e-discovery aspect, EDRM perspective. And um, also, um, uh, whenever cu cu customer needs kind of service like a paper scan, we can we can handle that. So um, we believe we are the uh, the only solution provider for um, as a one stop shop. Uh, there are other vendors uh, who handles only particular segment like uh, only paper scan or uh, just only uploading the data to the e discovery tool. But uh, we are proud of that we are the kind of pioneer mm -hmm. in Japan to handle all those kind of broad uh, aspect of uh, e-discovery. I see. So how long have your uh, company, AOS, has been in this business? So AOS started as a data recovery service 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we spun off uh, e-discovery or, or per se legal technology uh, segment as a legal tech uh, eight years ago. So we're in, in this business handling digital data for over 20 years, mm -hmm. 25 years. That's quite a long time. So do you have any footprints in the US? At this moment, no, answer is no. We structure partnership uh, in US. We work with uh, multiple uh, qualified um, uh, e-discovery vendor like us in US. Mm -hmm. So uh, when US vendor needs uh, some assistance in Japan, we can help. And uh, when a Japanese company needs help in US, we can uh, help as well. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I heard uh, you you don't have office in US. Oh, you have office, yes. small office in US, mm -hmm. but kind of similar mm -hmm. business model uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So shall I? Uh Introduce a little about mm -hmm. my firm. Sure. Okay. Please. So uh, our firm is TMI Associates. Uh, we have been established in uh, 1990. Mm -hmm. It's 30 years ago now, and uh, uh, we have uh, worked to create a law firm uh, which is distinct from other uh, Japanese law firms. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the past 30 years, we have been grown uh, rapidly. And uh, we now have 450 lawyers wow. and 86 patent attorneys uh, and trade, trade, trademark attorneys, mm -hmm. which is uh, a little uh, uh, different, distinct mm -hmm. with other Japanese uh, large size law firms. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now, to uh, including all our staff, I think we have uh, around 1,000 mm -hmm. personnel in our firm. And we're currently the fifth, uh, one of the fifth, five large law firms in Japan. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we have uh, six offices domestically. Here, uh, this is our Tokyo office. Uh, our, this is our Tokyo office, it's Moot Court mm. here today. And we also have uh, offices in uh, Nagoya, mm -hmm. Kyoto, and Osaka, and Kobe, mm -hmm. and Fukuoka mm -hmm. uh, domestically. And also we have 10 offices abroad in eight different countries. Mm -hmm. And mainly our offices uh, are in this Southeast East Asian Asia. countries. Okay. So uh, we will be able to uh, provide services not only in Japan, but mm -hmm. also uh, around the Southeast Asian countries as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So, and also uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, associations uh, relationship with uh, uh, Morgan Lewis, Simmons and Simmons and Arcus. Uh, which is a US or UK or German uh, law firms, but those are not exclusive relationships. So mm -hmm. I have been working with uh, many uh, foreign law firms, mm -hmm. uh, addition to those firms in mm -hmm. uh, many cases. So uh, I, I'm really excited to have a mm -hmm. chance to work with many uh, foreign law firms. Mm -hmm in many cases. Well, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Thank you for explaining about the team and associates. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about yourself, mm -hmm. um, okay. or you, your experiences, mm -hmm. what kind of uh, um, work you did mm -hmm. for e-discovery related work. Okay, sure. So uh, my name is Kentaro Toda and I'm licensed in both Japan and New York now. And I have been working in these kind of uh, cross-border litigation and investigation matters for almost uh, uh, more than 10 years mm -hmm. now and uh, I have been working on uh, uh, some significant numbers of clients to support their needs in discovery and document review in Japan mm -hmm. and in those cases I have been working closely with uh, e-discovery vendors mm -hmm. uh, including uh, AOS and also uh, in cross-border er, cases I, I work closely with foreign law firms to facilitate their uh, communication with their Japanese uh, clients and help their needs, mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, reviewing Japanese documents mm -hmm. uh, efficient, efficiently and mm -hmm. reasonably. Uh, and additionally, if any Japanese law issues comes mm -hmm. up, uh, I would be uh, uh, supporting them uh, researching mm -hmm. about Japanese law during those litigation or arbitration. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm able to advise in those both Japanese law perspective mm -hmm. and any needs in those kind of mm -hmm. litigation or investigation. Mm -hmm. So uh, what kind of e-discovery services uh, does AOS uh, provide? So um, we can do uh, data collection for PCs and mm -hmm. mobile devices and uh, as well as the forensics. Mm -hmm. When the data is missing, we can recover the data from these devices and uh, data hosting uh, using uh, review tool. Uh, typically, we use Reactivity, and uh, as well as uh, document review in Japanese and other Asian languages. So pretty much we cover entire EDRM whenever customer needs uh, one segment of, uh, of um, a portion, we can help. Uh, also, we can help kind of wider scope of mm -hmm. uh, e-discovery. I see. So AOS uh, is uh, kind of uh, one one stop shop for the client mm -hmm. now. And uh, so, what kind of tools do you uh, use? For yes, the yeah. Um, we use a pretty much an industrial standard mm -hmm. tool for collection FTK, Image or TB3 mm -hmm. for collection, and the uh, same as forensics. Um, but uh, in addition to industry standard software, uh, as you may know, in Japan there are Japan domestic hardware. Mm -hmm. uh, so we develop own software mm -hmm. to be able to take the data from those mm -hmm. devices. That's our sort of benefit. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, also um, for Discovery Tool, we used to work with a particular US vendor, but mm -hmm. uh, now we currently work with uh, partners mm -hmm. uh, uh, here in Japan as well. And um, platform is needed. Mm -hmm. I see that that uh, makes sense. I think because. Uh, when uh, Japanese uh, mm -hmm. companies or clients get mm -hmm. involved in those uh, U.S. litigation mm -hmm. or investigations, mm -hmm. in most cases, I think the U.S. law firm will mm -hmm. uh, decide the tools mm -hmm. or vendors uh, which kind of tools mm -hmm. uh, uh, tools they use. Or right. um, so you need to be familiar with uh, many of those uh, right, tools. Right, so, right, right, right. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. So the reason we don't have a particular tool is, as you mentioned, that mm -hmm. uh, mo mostly decision is made in U.S. Mm -hmm. and uh, also. Um, we don't want to compete with mm -hmm. the um, U.S. law firm mm -hmm. or U.S. vendor who mm -hmm. own the tool mm -hmm. and utilize the tool. I mean, obviously, if they want us to host the data mm -hmm. in Japan, we can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that's you know how we position ourselves mm -hmm. to be sort of a tool independent. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I think the, many of the Japanese uh, companies are not familiar with this e-discovery law. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, at the same time, I think many law firms is also not familiar with those e-discovery law uh, as well. So, uh, working on uh, the cases related to Japanese companies, mm -hmm. it will be essential to find a lawyer in Japan mm -hmm. uh, who is familiar with e-discovery mm -hmm. law mm -hmm. and has a capability to work efficiently on cases together mm -hmm. with, I think, foreign counsels and the e-discovery vendors. Uh, but uh, what, what do you think about those uh, things? I think that's mm -hmm. extremely important. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, that uh, when I talk to lots mm -hmm. of kind of corporate legal departments, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I'm surprised that the, you know some uh, companies mm -hmm. who never experienced mm -hmm. e-discovery doesn't know about legal hold, mm -hmm. litigation mm -hmm. hold. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Why mm -hmm. do we have to do that? Mm -hmm. So we have to go through the process. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we are not attorney, mm -hmm. we just can give you know give them advice only. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, if uh, you know uh, attorney like you mm -hmm. understand the discovery in US mm -hmm. as well as Japanese is extremely mm -hmm. important, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I, I agree in that point too. Mm -hmm. So explaining those uh, differences to the mm -hmm. uh, client and also mm -hmm. uh, explaining that to the foreign law firms is mm -hmm. uh, very important and right, essential, right, and right. essential to make the uh, case move forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, that, is that why you created a consulting mm -hmm. firm to mm -hmm. educate the Japanese mm -hmm. corporate? Yes, so uh, we, uh, as you just mentioned, we just uh, uh, made our new uh, subsidiary uh, company mm -hmm. called TMI Privacy and Security mm -hmm. uh, last December. Okay. And uh, that company is to uh, facilitate uh, the, the client uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to provide a service to the client mm -hmm. uh, related to both technology mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, related to uh, some uh, uh, legal points. Mm -hmm. So um, our, our new uh, consulting firm mm -hmm. will uh, will not uh, provide any legal services, but mm -hmm. will kind of support the client to uh, manage the uh, uh, between the technology mm. issues and the legal issues. Mm. So, uh, particularly in, in that company, we would provide some cyber security mm -hmm. uh, issues and some uh, issues related to how to use the uh, pr uh, uh, information, pri privacy information mm. in businesses, and mm. also provide some uh, consulting Mm -hmm. uh, services related to for these mm -hmm. kind of forensic uh, mm -hmm. works. I see. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like a, it is a kind of new approach mm -hmm. for a Japanese law firm. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're the only company, a law firm, provide mm -hmm. this type of service or any other law uh, firms provide in Japan? I think we're the only a law firm or the consulting company to I do see. those kind of I stuff see. in Japan. I it's see. a very unique approach. I yes. see. Right, right. So um, also, I like to talk about you know our service mm -hmm. as well. If I if I may, mm -hmm. why of we're course. different, and yes. uh, uh, I believe that there are mostly three parts mm -hmm. to it. Uh, number one is trust. Mm -hmm. As you know, mm -hmm. you you have to have a trusted vendor. Yes. Otherwise, everything you ask them you know them to do you know will be ruined mm -hmm. if they don't know what they're doing. And uh, as I mentioned, that uh, they always been dealing with digital data for mm -hmm. over 25 years, mm -hmm. uh, from you know data recovery mm -hmm. to forensics. So um, we have received the uh, multiple hours, mm -hmm. including a Ministry of Economy and Trade mm -hmm. Industry. And uh, number two is uh, we touched a little bit about it, but uh, understanding the U.S. E discovery, mm -hmm. and we know the urgency, mm -hmm. uh, timelines, mm -hmm. and um, I know uh, some lawyers in U.S. they never sleep, mm -hmm. so we have to respond to those you know requests. Mm -hmm. So we get used to it, mm -hmm. and. Um, um, uh, I think that's important as well as we have uh, English-speaking stuff, mm -hmm. which is critical. Mm -hmm. 
And um, um, the number three is that uh, um, also understand the Japanese IT infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, in Japan, corporations use the um, um, some software uh, mm -hmm. domestically, you know, the Japanese software mm -hmm. for encryption, for mm -hmm. example. And uh, if U.S. engineers come to Japan to collect the data, they have no idea what mm -hmm. that is. Yeah. So we can kind of eliminate the kind of time mm -hmm. uh, for if engineer comes to the U.S. and to learn about mm -hmm. it. So we already know those things. We just kind of pre-discuss with mm -hmm. you know IT IT uh, department of mm -hmm. Japanese companies so that uh, attorneys in U.S. can immediately uh, work on on the subject quickly. So mm -hmm. so those kind of three mm -hmm. things that uh, we are unique about. I see. I completely agree with the, those points uh, because and. AOS has a long history uh, working in this forensic uh, services in Japan and uh, has a very a good understanding with those IT structures of mm -hmm. the Japanese mm -hmm. companies. So if uh, uh, a foreign law firm uh, working with the AOS uh, comes up with a request to have mm -hmm. any uh, Japanese lawyer uh, get uh, involved in these cases, I would be happy to uh, work together with mm -hmm. AOS. Mm -hmm. And additionally, I would uh, like to ask you about your uh, document review services. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, we mm -hmm. have um, our own uh, secure uh, mm -hmm. review center mm -hmm. in, in in center of Tokyo. The mm -hmm. place is called Tranomon, mm -hmm. uh, which is American Embassy is located, and uh, we can accommodate uh, about fifty reviewers mm -hmm. uh, to one time in a room. And uh, our qualified reviewers uh, are from uh, law students to, mm -hmm. to attorneys, and we can handle English, mm -hmm. Japanese, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, other Korean, Chinese, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, other Asian languages. And also, we closely work with you for mm -hmm. like a QA mm -hmm. and uh, also kind of review management. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we have a working yes. relationship with you. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I think that's a key for company like us to have a close relationship mm. uh, company you know with your company mm -hmm. like TMI mm -hmm. yes I uh, I think this is a, a, a good area that the law firm and also a service provider like uh, AOS can uh, uh, do uh, work together and uh, bring uh, superior services beyond what we can each do mm -hmm. so uh, some clients might think that uh, involving additional law firms uh, in Japan will uh, cause more cost, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. actually from my, my experience, uh, uh, from uh, involving an experienced uh, uh, Japanese lawyer will uh, help actually the procedure to be more efficient and uh, keep it uh, the quality mm -hmm. of the work mm -hmm. uh, high. So I think this, uh, this is because the Japanese documents and emails mm -hmm are normally really, really not organizedly written mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, it is difficult for non-native speakers mm -hmm. uh, to understand actually what the document is really saying mm -hmm. uh, when they review those documents. So uh, I think it will be important for a native lawyer who mm -hmm. understands uh, the procedure and uh, who work together with those native speaker or reviewers to keep the quality of the uh, results of those uh, reviews. So uh, I think looking at the case as a total, mm -hmm. involving the Japanese law, law firm in the case will end up, I think, mm -hmm. uh, saving more cost mm -hmm. and working efficiently. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think speaking about these mm -hmm. legal and legal and services or legal services or IT, uh, tell me about your annual, uh, annual legal technology conference that, that you, AOS has? Yeah, so we started the legal tech conference mm -hmm. um, in 2013 mm -hmm. and um, uh, pretty much we hit over 500 attendees mm -hmm. every year. It's a one-day event. Mm -hmm. We invite the keynote speakers including mm -hmm. former prime ministers and the Nobel Prize winners and um, that is the only event in Japan to introduce uh, new legal IT, mm -hmm. you know, uh, technologies, technologies uh, into Japanese market mm -hmm. and um, um, so um, we we want to be at the kind of point to to let educate mm -hmm. Japanese uh, sort of market the legal market to understand that the latest 
legal IT technologies mm -hmm. because I believe that Japan is at least behind five years mm -hmm. from a, a legal IT perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I think you attended the, some of the conferences mm -hmm. in the past. How did you feel about yes. uh, attending yes. this? Yes, I was uh, very impressed with the, the event. And uh, I think those market education is especially important mm -hmm. when uh, legal and IT are uh, merging. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, mm -hmm. And uh, I think Japanese market is, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. is a few years behind mm -hmm. compared to uh, what it is in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, and when I particularly uh, participate in the litigations mm -hmm. and arbitrations and internal mm -hmm. inter inter internal investigations, uh, pretty much I think the IT mm -hmm. gets uh, involved in data collection and mm -hmm. I, I did identify mm -hmm. in key documents mm -hmm. or evidences. So, uh, and also not only uh, that, but uh, uh, due to this uh, COVID-19 mm -hmm. issue, uh, trends of those remote working mm -hmm. is uh, coming uh, very popular in Japan. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that uh, will uh, boost uh, uh, the business shift to this digital transformation mm -hmm. and I think more people mm -hmm. will uh, avoid com um, this commute and mm -hmm. the uh, actual physical gathering right. from right. now on. Right. So right. I think these kind of IT and uh, mm -hmm. these uh, data will mm -hmm. become uh, more and more uh, mm -hmm. important uh, mm -hmm. from now mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I agree with you. I mm -hmm. think that's why your kind of security, mm -hmm. cyber security service mm -hmm. would be, uh, you know, good timing mm -hmm. for you to implement because uh, now uh, Japanese companies are facing kind of digitization, the remote mm -hmm. working. So now it's becoming more important uh, when they handle Japanese, mm -hmm. I mean, data uh, preserving and the searching and the tracing, mm -hmm. the data track, I mean, mm -hmm. data trace. Uh, with a key, and mm -hmm. uh, that's good for litigation mm -hmm. if they may have in mm -hmm. the, down the down the road in the future too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think this post uh, COVID nineteen will be a new era for this Japanese companies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, based on our experience uh, mm -hmm. and our capability, mm -hmm. I I would look forward to have a chance to support mm -hmm. the clients and work together with AOS mm -hmm. and uh, the, all the foreign law firms mm -hmm. in the near future. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, used to be there was a legal mm -hmm. and there was IT, mm -hmm. now kind of both merging mm -hmm. together. So I think, um, you know, Bender like us to understand uh, the legal side mm -hmm. and working uh, company team like you. Mm -hmm. And from your perspective, uh, you work with company like us who mm -hmm. understand IT it would be kind of both mutually mm -hmm. beneficial. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.